two home guards are firing the Browning heavy machine gun under the eye of an army sergeant instructor. During the Second World War, the British Home Guard were extensively issued American 30 caliber Browning M1917 machine guns. These water-cooled medium machine guns contributed significant firepower to the Home Guard fighting units. They began to enter service in late 1940, and by November 1942, there were some 6,330 in inventory. With so many guns in service, there needed to be a way of describing, categorising and identifying the weapon's parts, so an identification list booklet was drawn up, giving both the American and British nomenclature for the gun's individual parts. So, small arms identification lists, CI American, guns machine Browning, 30 inch USA Mark I. The booklet draws on the US Army Ordnance Corps' standard nomenclature list A5 for the American part names. On the inside of the cover we have what might be the name of the original owner of the booklet, I. Kirby. Guns Machine Gun Browning 30 inch USA Mark I. US Army designation Gun Machine Gun Caliber 30 Browning M1917. Printed in January 1942. It was compiled by the technical branch at COD or the Central Ordnance Depot at Weedon. SNL A5 will always be quoted on all demands and other documents relating to this weapon. American designations and numbers only will be used. British designations and numbers will not be used. They are given only to, to enable any necessary reconciliation with American numbers to be made. So the purpose of the booklet is basically to allow soldiers familiar only with British designations to know the American nomenclature for the various parts. Guns Machine Gun Browning, 30 caliber. Then we have the gun, ammunition box, tubing, condenser tube, condenser can, cleaning brush, an ammunition belt, 250 round ammunition belt, and a jack as well. Cool. So we've got the pistol grip, top cover, uh, rear sight. The panels for the pistol grip. What's this one? 5626. 5626 tube steam steam tube assembly brackets rear sight cover catch and you've got the little springs we've got the spring for the pole feed and then we can see springs pole feed spring belt feed pole see the difference in, in nomenclature and, and how they differed between the two countries. Grips pistol without stock. Grip assembly with plate back. Then we have um, machine gun belts filling. Boxes, machine filling, belts, browning 30 inch, otherwise known as chest packing browning belt filling machine. So this is the belt filling machine with its box, its carrying case. Machine filling belt browning 30 inch MG USA Mark 1, otherwise known in America as the machine belt filling browning M1918. Now we have lots of small parts for the belt filling machine itself. Lots and lots of different screws for the, the feed wheel, the pole, cartridge stops, cartridge guides, various pins, 
lots and lots of different springs, levers, and tensioning arms. On the next page we have the actual barrel, the barrel extension, the breech block, the extractor, the ejector, the main spring and the cocking handle. Breech block. Blocks, breech, unassembled, bolts, usable, unassembled. Some of them have been crossed out with corrected part numbers. And here as well. And there we go. Just a really short little booklet. And on the back here, it might just be visible, it says, Printed under authority of His Majesty's Stationery Office by William Close and Son London and Beckles. So there we go. Not to be published. Information given in this document is not to be communicated either directly or indirectly to the press or any person not holding an official position in His Majesty's service. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. I eventually plan on digitising much of the tab reference collection when I have the time and the funds to do so. In the meantime, a PDF of the pages from this booklet is now available over at armorersbench.com. You can find it in the accompanying article for this video. Acquisition of this little parts identification list booklet was made possible by our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to join us and help us share pieces of history like this one, please check out the link at the end of the video and in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.